Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog tennis. And with us, head coach Mark Dorn. And coach, first of all, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. I know uh, last year, obviously, uh, your, your seasons were cut short. How nice has it been uh, just for your teams to be back on the court here the past couple weeks and uh, getting some competition in? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, it was, uh, it was a tough 320-some days between matches, but uh, it's really been great for us for mentally, physically to get back on the court and really get after it. I know, uh, obviously, both teams uh, here before we get into this past weekend had a chance to take on some Division One opponents uh, here early on the first couple of weeks, uh, Western Michigan and, and Valparaiso on the women's side. Yeah, it was a great opportunity for us to really, you know, get great practice out, you know, out of the gate and be able to go up against the competition that we probably won't see the rest of the year. And we really uh, benefited from it this year, and we're pretty excited that uh, we were able to go in there and, you know, kind of put some fear into a Division One program. And uh, it's the best results that we've had in a few years. Obviously, we'll start first uh, here with the women's side and uh, going back to this past Friday, uh, home opener. Uh, nice to be back at home at the Racket and Fitness Center. Yeah, it's great. You know, it's a little different feel this year, you know, not having the fans. But uh, it was great to be able to be back on court and, you know, and just kind of get that sense of normal. Uh, you know, we started out uh, pretty strong with the women's team, you know, getting out there. And uh, it, uh, it, it's, it's, we were just happy to be out there. First uh, regional action, first action against a Division II opponent in Tiffin, and Tiffin, and obviously had a strong performance with a 5-2 to two win. Yeah, a great win. I mean, we, we squeaked out a win last year against them 4-3, but they're a solid team. Uh, what they do well is they recruit a lot of uh, upperclassmen, a lot of grad transfers, uh, so they always have a lot of experience. Uh, so, you know, going into a match this year earlier in the season, you kind of know, uh, figure out where you're at, and you're playing against a team that has a lot of experience, but I thought we came out really strong and, and took it to them right away in doubles. Uh, that's one of our biggest goals is to, to get the doubles point and, and uh, we came out right away and swept the doubles which just kind of you know propelled us into the singles. Speaking of experience, obviously you've got some players uh, in your lineup that have been around here for a few years now and have kind of grown up uh, here in the program with you. Yeah, I, I have no seniors on the team. I have five juniors and all five play a spot within the lineup, uh, four in the singles and four in the doubles. And they've really led the team and, and really showed the experience that is the reason why you know, we're, we're coming out on the winning side in matches like this. How important was it to get uh, off to a good start uh, here in regional action and uh, taking on some of these regional opponents that will help prepare you for the GLEAC schedule? Yeah, it's very important because last year we weren't really able to you know, set the tone and play some of these matches. So when it comes to regional rankings and stuff like that, to be able to you know, set the tone with a win before we play a couple more regional opponents in the next couple of weeks and then get into the GLEAC, you know, we're looking to go in strong. Shifting to the men's side, the men took on Tiffin as well, and uh, kind of an unusual twist on the on the scheduling this year. You get to play the, the same opponent, men's and women's action, uh, on the same day a, a lot of times. Yeah, it, it was awesome. You know, it, just the atmosphere there, you know, having no fans but being able to have the men and women there kind of supporting each other and, and, and uh, encouraging each other was great. You know, last year we went into Tiffin and, and had a tough 4-3 loss to Tiffin. Uh, again, another team with a, a lot of uh, upperclassmen that just have a lot of experience. But uh, we kind of played with a little bit of an edge, uh, you know, a chip on our shoulder, and, uh, and we, we really took it to them. I, I was really impressed with, you know, my senior leadership, Matisse Gary, you know, step in one singles this year. And, you know, every match he knows he's going to play the best player on the other team, and he, and he really, you know, sets the tone for the rest of our lineup. How uh, special has it been for these guys just to get back on the court when they didn't really have a, a season or mu much of a season uh, going back to last spring? Yeah, it's difficult. You know, we're used to, you know, the spring being our main season, but we still get somewhat of competition in the fall. And then, you know, without having a season last spring, you know, it, nerves. There was a lot of nerves that set in and, and weren't sure, you know, if they were match ready, you know, not even to be able to, you know, play in, you know, tournaments during the summer that they're used to playing, you know, out of season. And so they just weren't sure what that was going to be there, but they knew they practiced hard and they knew that they'd prepared. And then, you know, just got to see what it came out on the court and it was on our side this weekend. Another 5-2 win as you beat Tiffin on the men's side as well and uh, again got off to a strong start uh, sweeping the doubles round. Yeah, <clears throat> this is the first time in uh, two years that we've swept the doubles. You know, it's, it's a goal for the both men and women to win the doubles point. But we just haven't put it all together in one day where we win all three and it was great to see everyone. And I mean, just the excitement of winning all three, just the smiles on their faces and the energy going into the singles is really what propelled us. I know obviously no fans, but how much of a home court edge is it for you to play at the Racket and Fitness Center where uh, you guys obviously know the courts uh, so well? Yeah, it's a huge edge. I mean, every, every court's a little different. Uh, we have a little bit faster tennis courts. Uh, so when a team comes in and plays us that are used to a slower court, you know, it's our big serves. You know, Matisse serves at about 130 miles an hour. 
uh, and that's you know not exactly easy when you're playing on a court the ball slides pretty fast. So it was a huge advantage, and and I just think that it has a a feel of just Ferris pride with all of our banners, and uh, just the feel when you walk in, you know that it's not you know just a regular club. A lot of our you know Goliath competition, a lot of our regional competition, they use a local club, so it doesn't really have any of the you know the school's stuff around it, and ours does. So when people walk in. They know they're playing Ferris and of all the tradition and history there. Obviously, uh, both teams have some experience back, but some new faces in the lineup as well. How, how has the adjustment been for some of those newer players uh, here to the program? Yeah, it was great. Uh, you know, last year we dealt with some injuries, and then uh, and then this year we had you know two freshmen on the men's team come in and and step right in at two and four singles, and and just show a ton of experience. You know, they they're uh, a lot of junior experience they had, and then you know coming in, you weren't really sure what you're going to get. Uh, you know. I, recruit a lot of international students. So, you know, Jan coming in from Sweden, I'd never seen him play in person, a lot of video, but he stepped in and wow, he played against a uh, grad transfer that was originally at Lake Superior State, who played one singles and beat us a few years ago. And for Jan as a freshman to, to take on, you know, this, you know, senior that just great experience was, was awesome. And, and, and then he beat him pretty easily. So he was pretty exciting. And on the women's side, you know, I have a freshman that has made her way into the lineup uh, with all of my upperclassmen, all my juniors, and uh, and you know she's getting the experience that she needs, and she just needs match match experience. Obviously, this week uh, back at home again as you take on Walsh uh, coming up on Friday, and another uh, doubleheader at the Racket and Fitness Center, and a couple more matches here before you really get the conference schedule underway in the middle part of March. Yeah, we're looking forward to this week. Uh, we haven't played Walsh in a dual match in you know quite a few years, uh, so we're we're looking forward to you know just kind of seeing you know where we're at. Uh, they've played a couple other Gleeck schools in the last couple weeks. Uh, and so we kind of have an idea where they're at, but you know it's just great to, to be able to get these matches in, and uh, to be able to prepare for the GLIAC. You know, typically we'd be in Florida next week or in a couple of weeks, uh, playing some stiff competition. So you know, anytime we can get these extra matches in this time of year before GLIAC start is always a benefit for us. Obviously, if all goes well, uh, the GLIAC season is going to feature both the men and women uh, here in the the same season for the first time in a long time. Yeah, it is. It is neat. Uh, the women have always played their GLIAC in the fall, and uh, we're excited. You know. We were a little more excited to be able to get a, a fall season in, uh, off you know, non-championship season and get some practice, but we didn't get that. So it's a little different than we were expecting, but we're still excited that uh, we can hopefully ride this season into the NCAA tournament and, and have the momentum going into it this year. Well, Coach, thanks for the time, and uh, best of luck uh, here this coming weekend. Yeah, thank you. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action, get all the results online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.